What's up, guys? Luxide coming to you here again on this glorious, glorious weekend. Again, if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and smash that like, subscribe. Then that way, again, you'll know when my channel has more content, right? So I want to talk to you about uh, something that I've talked about once before, but uh, we're going to do it again. So some uh, some NFT talk, right? Now, NFTs may not be your thing, but I think it's very important that we kind of pay attention to what is going on in the NFT market as it is an ever-expanding part of cryptocurrency, right? Now, it appears that Ethereum NFT sales have actually been holding steady even as trading volume sinks further in the market. Crazy, right? So data from analytics from analytics platform Dune shows about 1.61 million Ethereum NFTs sold so far in July compared to 1.54 million for all of June. So it's actually gone up a little bit. While the number of unique traders has ticked up slightly from, from nearly 393,000 in June to over 400,000 so far in July. So there's actually more people entering the NFT space, even as we are, you know, well into this bear market, which is actually kind of impressive, you know, now, dis despite slightly more users transacting on OpenSea and buying more collective NFTs overall in July, the value measured in US dollars has fallen. Dune shows that more than 495 million worth of Ethereum NFT volume so far in July compared to 695 million across June. So that makes a little more sense, right? Because with the market dropping, you would expect that the overall value of all these assets or the asking price of these assets in order would, would be dropping kind of with the market, right? But I will say it still is impressive. I mean, you know, if, if people are still continuing to accumulate, I think that is probably a very good sign uh, for the market. Again, not financial advice, but that's just kind of my takeaway from it. Um, you know, taking a little further look into this, the market the market produced $25 billion worth of trading across all of 2021 per data from DAP, Radar, and added nearly $20 billion more worth of organic trading. And that ex excludes wash trails through the first half of 2022. So there is still very good growth happening there. Now, I think it is worth noting that while Ethereum NFTs may still be continuing to, in to I guess, incline if I, I yeah uh some other blockchains have been having issues with um with you know having the same kind of volume that ethereum's having so for example solana is actually showing some slowing going on right so let's see so it's only they only sold 52.4 million worth of solana nfts so far in july compared to 91.5 million for all of June. So that's nearly a 43% drop. I mean, that's, see, that's kind of more of what I would have expected, but you know, it's, it's very surprising um, with Ethereum that being the case because Ethereum typically has higher fees in some of these. Again, I'm not huge in the NFT space, but I definitely thought that this was, was worth noting and kind of monitoring and paying attention to because, you know, this could be, uh, could be some, some indicators of what may be coming to the market. I don't know, right? I'm just a guy here and sitting in front of my computer making YouTube videos. But, you know, at least this way we can all kind of stay informed together. I'll keep an eye out for it, let you know if I find out some more information. You know, you probably find out as fast as me. But again, if you haven't already, make sure you drop a like, a subscribe. Got tons more content coming your way. And uh, as long as you stay informed, you can have luck on your side, just like me. Thanks again.